In this video, you will learn the basic mechanics of the Mevislab IDE. You will learn how to reuse existing modules to load and view your data. In Mevislab, you usually use modules to perform specific tasks. Use the module search and add the image load module to your network. As a next step, select and load the data you like to process. Double click on the image load module to open its panel. Select a file, for example an MRI scan of a shoulder. The image is loaded immediately and basic information of the loaded image can be seen in the panel. Click on the triangle output of the module to preview your image in the output inspector. You can already interact with the image via mouse wheel and mouse buttons. All module outputs can be found at the top side of the respective module. You can now inspect your image in 2D and 3D. Below the output inspector, you can find the module inspector. The module inspector displays properties and parameters of the selected module. Parameters are stored in so-called fields. Instead of using the output inspector, you can also add one of the existing viewers to the network. Search for the module view 2D and add it to your workspace. Most modules have different connectors. Data is transmitted via output connectors on the top side of a module and can be received by other modules via input connectors on the bottom side. Although the connection is established, no image rendering has started yet. To initialize rendering, open the View 2D panel by double-clicking the module View 2D in your network. You can also disconnect the modules by dragging the connection away from the input or output connector. The rendering stops immediately. Connections between compatible outputs and inputs are established automatically in case two modules are getting close enough to each other. Next, we like to add a processing step to our network. We want to smooth the image using an average kernel. In order to do that, search for the module convolution and add it to the workspace. Drag the convolution module on the existing connection between loader and viewer. The module is connected in between automatically and the viewer is updated on the fly. Double-click the convolution module to open its panel. You can adjust parameters or in this case select a kernel, for example the 3x3 average kernel. You can now follow the image through your pipeline by clicking the outputs of the viewer and convolution module to see the differences in the image before and after applying the filter in the output inspector. Another way to inspect the difference between the processed and the unprocessed image is adding another viewer. It is possible to establish numerous connections from one module output to different other module inputs. Connect the module image load to the second viewer to display two images at the same time. You can scroll through the slices of both viewers and compare processed and unprocessed images. To inspect the effect of the filter, it would be helpful to synchronize both viewers in a way that both show the same slices. Search for the module sync float and add it to your workspace. Now we want to establish parameter connections to allow the synchronized use of both image viewers. We like to synchronize the field start slice of both viewers, to be able to show the same slice in both viewers. Right-click the viewer view 2D to open its context menu and select show window, automatic panel. This option shows all parameter fields of the module view 2D. Search for the field start slice. The field indicates which slice is currently shown in the viewer. If you scroll through the slices of an image the value of start slice changes. Now, double-click the module sync float to open its panel. Click on the label start slice in the automatic panel of the module view 2D, keep the button pressed and drag the connection to the label float 1 in the panel of the module sync float. The connection is drawn as a thin gray line. The value of the field start slice is now synchronized to the field float 1. Changing start slice automatically changes float 1. We now want to establish a connection from the module sync float to the second viewer view 2D1. In order to do that, open the automatic panel view 2D1. Draw a connection from the label float 2 of the panel of the module sync float to the label start slice in the automatic panel of the module view 2D1. As a result, Scrolling through the slices with the mouse will in one of the viewers synchronizes the rendered slice in the second viewer. In this case, you can inspect the differences between smoothed and unsmoothed data on every single slice. For further information, please have a look at www.mevislab.de.